Members of Japan's ruling coalition are trying to pass a controversial bill on protecting state secrets before the diet session ends on Friday. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says the legislation is vital to national security. Lawmakers in the lower house of the diet approved the bill last week, but it can't become law until members of the upper house pass it. Opposition lawmakers in that chamber have been raising procedural concerns in an effort to delay the vote. They say the coalition is trying to steamroll the bill through the diet. Critics say the bill would give the government power to arbitrarily decide what constitutes a state secret and infringes on the public's right to know. But lawmakers from Prime Minister Abe's ruling Liberal Democratic Party and its coalition partner say they have dealt with all the concerns the opposition has raised. They're vowing to have an upper house committee approve the bill on Thursday. If that happens, they'll be able to present it to a full sitting of the chamber the same day. Victims of the Fukushima nuclear disaster will have more time to claim compensation. Japanese lawmakers have extended the limit on claims from the accident to 10 years. Japan's upper house passed the bill clearing the move on Wednesday. Current civil law limited the right to claims against Tokyo Electric Power Company to up to three years from the accident. The new law acknowledges that some victims have been unable to ask for compensation. It says many struggle to calculate the damages because they still live in temporary housing. The new law will allow victims to file a claim with TEPCO until 10 years after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant in March 2011. The law also calls on the government to improve the claims consultation system and help victims get compensated as early as possible. Diners around the world have long appreciated Japanese cooking. 
Now it's being officially recognized. UNESCO has decided to add Japan's traditional cuisine and food culture to its list of intangible cultural heritage. The organization holds a meeting every year to decide on what new registrations should be included. The system is aimed at protecting important examples of regional customs and traditions around the world. This year's meeting started on Monday in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. Japanese cuisine, or washoku, was among 31 candidates. I think the listing was too late. We haven't understood enough how much people around the world love Washoku. I'm delighted. Washoku is based on the Japanese spirit of respecting nature. I hope people around the world will understand the heart of Washoku as our food culture. In October, a body that does preliminary screening of candidates recommended that Washoku be added to the list. This recommendation was considered to be quite influential to be endorsed. Japan's food culture has become the country's 22nd intangible heritage element listed by UNESCO. Others include kabuki and no theater. Many people in Japan's food industry hope the listing will increase the popularity of Japanese cuisine globally and help boost exports of domestic food products. Now, government officials proposed adding Japan's traditional cuisine and food culture to the UNESCO list in March 2012. It came in response to calls from the private sector. It hoped to dispel concerns about the safety of Japanese food following the 2011 accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. The officials say Washoku has great cultural value. They say it shows the people's respect for nature and reproduces the beauty of the changing seasons. The cuisine is also closely related to New Year's festivities, rice growing, harvest festivals and other annual events. Officials said the country's cuisine has been handed down from generation to generation and helps strengthen social cohesion among the Japanese. Other food cultures on the World Intangible Heritage List include French cuisine and the Mediterranean diet found in Greece, Italy, Spain, Japanese and Japanese researchers Morocco. have made a discovery that could help people with a type of cancer that's difficult to treat. They've identified genetic mutations unique to cancer of the bile duct. The researchers studied tissue samples from 66 patients. They found significant mutations in part of a certain gene. About 20,000 people in Japan are diagnosed with bile duct cancer every year. The five-year survival rate is just over 20 percent. Tatsuhiro Shibata led the study. He heads the Cancer Genomics Division at the National Cancer Center Research Institute in Tokyo. We hope this discovery will lead to clinical applications as soon as possible. Researchers say they hope to begin clinical trials by the middle of next year on chemotherapy treatments that zero in on the mutation. Japan's main ruling party are looking at a new way to get more foreign tourists to visit Japan. The idea is to make more goods exempt from consumption tax. Visitors from overseas currently don't have to pay sales tax on clothes and electrical appliances. A Liberal Democratic Party taxation committee plans to add food and cosmetics to that list. About 30% of foreign visitors reportedly come to Japan to shop. The move is in line with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's pledge to increase the number of foreign visitors by two and a half times to 20 million a year. The plan is part of an overall tax reform scheduled for fiscal 2014 starting in April. The consumption tax will rise from 5% to 8% that month. Volunteers in Fukushima have set up an illumination tower to cheer up people living in temporary housing after the 2011 disaster. Some, eight, Members of a citizen's group in Minamisoma City built the tower at a parking lot of the housing complex using some 20,000 LED lights. More than 500 families live at the facility. Our spirits have been low since the earthquake. These lights brighten the mood around here.
We hope these lights become a symbol of the bonds between evacuees and their relatives. As of September, more than 200,000 people were still living away from home in Fukushima and neighboring prefectures.